this is Jody, and thank you very much for joining me here today. And we are doing the seven days of predictions. And I thought today, because most of us are concerned with relationships to some degree or another in our lives, that that would be a good thing for us to look at and for me to ask Spirit for insight on. And I do have information for us on the type of energy that's moving through that relationship area of our lives for 2023. Uh, what type of energy is really at play and effect around us? What came through was really interesting. The, what we have to be mindful of, most of us, is the area of communication within our relationships. And I'm going to show you some of the cards that came forth because the pictures just, the images just grab the energies. See how on this card, the Seven of Wands, nobody's killing each other in this card, but they're obviously in conflict and everybody is trying to force their way on to everybody else. That's the type of energy we have to be mindful of. We have to guard against this type of energy in our relationships. Four of Wands, do you see how there is two people here? They look like they're in a stalemate to me. And this guy looks like a mediator to me. So that's confirmation, again, that we're going to have to be extra, extra mindful this year. Um, this energy actually feels like it's hanging around until about July, where it's going to be really challenging for us to um, to communicate ourselves clearly, to make sure that we're saying exactly the, what we want to say, uh, choosing our words carefully, choosing our timing carefully, uh, making sure that the uh, that the message really is being understood because this is the type of energy that is waiting to come in if we don't. Um, explosive, it's when things go wrong, things start to fall apart. Um, and it feels like that could happen way too easily this year, like I said, especially until about July. So what we're all going to have to be really, really mindful of is keeping this balance you see how the angel has one foot on the water, one foot on the land. She's pouring water from one cup into the other. She's not spilling a drop. This shows up as a challenging type of energy for us, along with that challenging energy in the area of communication. So we're going to have to watch to keep our balance in our relationships, making sure that we are saying what we want to say uh, the way you know, just making sure it's coming across the way we want, making sure it's understood. And the same for the other way too. Making sure that we're understanding what's going on. Ace of Cups also shows, shows up here. Speak your truth. Speak from your heart and you're not going to go wrong. Um, something else comes through in the form of advice too. The Ten of Cups. It is for those of us that are in relationships who, who kind of like to stay that way. Um, make sure that when we are communicating with our partners, we're remembering that we are on the same team and we're not opponents. It's easy to fall into that um, into that trap of forgetting that we're, we want the same thing, that we're on the same side instead of fighting each other. So that is the message here that comes through for 2003. So if we're all mindful of it, um, work to keep things in balance and uh, keep ourselves aligned with who we want to align with, I think we'll be good. It was a pleasure, and I want to wish happy holidays to everybody, however it is that you celebrate. Bye for now.